you built my confidence up, I'm ready to go. So what I want to talk to you about today is behind me, you see these uh, ash trees and uh, you can tell the bark's falling off of some of them. That white bark that's still left, that's an indicator the emerald ash borer is here. Uh, these ash trees will all die. The ash borer showed up here in our part of Missouri about two years ago and started to see the effects. These are all dead, they're just left standing. And ash trees was a big part of the river bottom ecosystem. We're down in the Piney River bottom. Ash trees grew along the banks of the rivers, helped the roots help hold it, um, and they, they shade the ground. They was a big part. Something's gonna move in and take the place of these ash trees. And it may be, it, if we don't do something, nature's gonna put something there. Maybe Japanese honeysuckle, it may be multiflora rose, it could be Johnson grass, spotted knapweed, cockleburs. There's a lot of invasives that we have introduced to our ecosystems. Uh, I, I kind of encourage people to take this as an opportunity to introduce some of the natives that might have been there originally or have been grazed out or uh, a lot of these bottoms have been cropped. So the natives that would have grown here is what I would recommend you put back to now collect the sunlight that the ash trees aren't. Some examples is we're standing in a field of uh, early wild rye that we, with the ash, emerald ash borer coming and knowing that what it was going to do, we took a dozer, we actually cleared this out. It was pretty good level farmable ground and we put it into seed production in preparation. Behind us, this wasn't as good of a seed production location. So we're, we also got early wild rye growing through it. Uh, I would recommend that you plant a mixture of warm seasons, cool seasons. Uh, early wild rye, the other wild ryes, uh, riverbank wild rye, quiver river wild rye, uh, big blue stem, eastern gamma grass, uh, switchgrass. They'll all be uh, good native plants that would have originally been here. River oats. Um, and there's other tree species that could be introduced as well. Uh, we don't deal in the trees as much. But the important part is to get something growing there to cover the ground to keep invasives from taking it over and help protect it against erosion. As the creeks get up and they flood across this and ash trees aren't there to hold the soil anymore. This is Cole Hamilton with Hamilton Native Outpost. If you got any questions or comments or we can help you, uh, feel free to contact us.